Hi guys, it's me Cecil and welcome to my channel. This is my new channel and today we were going to make an unboxing vlog and I'm excited to share it to you guys but before that, if you're new here, please do like and subscribe and let's just get started. I really like doing crochet and I made few projects already in the past two years and I'm always excited to make a new things about crochet and I have have this set of crochet hook my host mom in Denmark gave me this as a birthday present last year and including this do you know what is this it's a knitting tool kit but since I tried this so I don't know how to use it I've tried to use it but for me it's so difficult since it's too hook look so when you use this you need to do left and right and it's much more complicated for me that's why I love doing crochet and my crochet tools some of them are broken so I decided to order a new one I've been looking online about crochet hooks I was scrolling I thought I will order the normal set of a crochet hook from Amazon and I was scrolling last night I found a really interesting crochet hook set and since I need it and this crochet hook will help me to lessen the you know the problem for my eyes like I mean if I do crocheting and I use a dark yarn it's difficult for me I need to use a stitch marker all the time so I'm excited to share it to you guys and finally it's here I've been waiting since last night <laughs> remember I ordered it last night and it's delivered today Ooh, are you excited guys to see this what is this look let me take a picture first so yeah let's open this it's a bit expensive but it was on sale last night that's why i ordered it immediately whoa look guys i have so many tools now crochet set i need to read the description of this one it has 18 different hook size from 2 mm to 14 mm imagine i only have this one the smaller size is 2 mm and the bigger size for this is 8 millimeter hook i'm so happy that i have this now look how beautiful is this it's a glass oh no this is metal do you know what's the good thing about this crochet hook? This is a rechargeable hook. Yeah, you heard it right. I can charge my hook from time to time. But they say that it's only 15 minutes to charge. And you can use it for 10 to 12 hours. Yeah, that's what they say in the description. Wait, let me get my glasses. <laughs> Sorry. I cannot charge this. <laughs> they have this also. I don't know how do you call this one. Oh, you can use this like ching, ching, ching for tightening it and they have this also for the smaller hook <laughs> how nice it is this set will really a big help for me look if i want a normal one i can use this no charging you cannot charge this but if i want um like in the evening and i'm gonna watch movie or something i don't need so much light because this one after i charge it i can use it and then there's a light on it first i'm gonna charge it so that we can use it so i'll just charge it here and i charge it for 15 minutes and i show you guys later how does it work okay i'm excited we're gonna have dinner first since it's evening so i'm using a light we are gonna set timer for 15 minutes how does it work <laughs> i don't know how to charge it i need the usb thing it's really good i have this kind of charger so i can charge two at the same time so yeah as you can see it's charging since you can see the red light there um it's finished charging look there's no more light over there so let's remove it Ding. so they have a manual here let me read it first oh if i use the small one i can use this so yeah, let's try it in a big one, big hook. I want to try three. Yeah, this one. How can I lose it? Let's try. How can I do it? Oh, like this. Oh, I need to do this so that it's tight. And then we put it back. Press any button to turn hook on. Press any button. Whoa, so I can use this. Look, there's a light. Oh, there's level. Level one. One, two, oh, it's two level. Look, 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 look. 
so you can see this thing i have yarn here so let's try let's turn it off whoa see look how bright is this let's try let's try let's try as you can see there's a small lcd screen here so there's a button here this one is for the light where you see this one when i click it like this yeah this is s lower s button and there's r button so s button is like if i press the s button the s button is for counting the stitch and the r button is for counting the rows if i do the stitch i just need to press it the s so that it will count i thought it's automatic but you need to do it one wall but let's try <laughs> i'm not get used to it it's big for my hand since the normal one that i'm using is like a little bit wrong but i think it's good for my wrist so that i don't get a pain in my wrist and my finger like this press the s button after each stitch to increase stitch count so okay so let's do it okay yeah see can you see the screen the left one is stitch S. Oh, it's good. I need to press S. Oh, yeah, I like that. I thought it's automatic, but I need to press it. <laughs> I'm not get used to use this hook. <laughs> oh, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight, so it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I can reset the stitch if I want to. Press and hold the S button to decrease the stitch count. Let's try it. So if I want to decrease the stitch, I can just press and hold. Ah, oh, now I get it. So I need to press and hold the S button for a bit. It's like two seconds to decrease the stitch count. It's seven now. Why is that going? <laughs> blurry yeah seven it's the same with the rows so i just need to repeat but if i want to reset it hold the s button for three seconds to reset the stitch count so i need to press the s button for three seconds let's try oh yeah it's reset yeah like that see it's reset now the bag is a bit annoying it's just with the foam um i need to remove this if you remove it you just need to do a rotation from left to right and then if you put it back you just need right to left from the direction right to left to make it tight here is a three millimeter hook okay i want to use the bigger one let's try to use this one it's 12 millimeter hook so let's put it and then i need to make it tight oh yeah i want it in front so that when i do it like this i can just so let's try Ooh. <laughs> let's try a black one i'm going to get a black yarn i have a black mat from here black or brown yeah here i'm gonna change the hook since i'm gonna use the macram yarn 5 mm i'm gonna use four or five let's try five okay so this one yeah like this wait maybe i'll try the bigger one get a black yarn i have this i'm gonna put it here and then here yeah i have this kind of thing for my macro yarn put it like this and then we can roll it so this is really black black macro yarn so see if it's dark i can just use this see i can see this counting see three so it's open one two three when i crochet i always use a stitch marker because i always forget how many stitch and rows that i make in order to remember i need to count it one by one but since i have this i can just mark it here and then i continue see yeah this one and then we can do it. let's try the rows if we can do the rows let's try okay It's really good. <laughs> I'm not get used to this kind of <laughs> hook. I'm just making an example. See? Oh. I'm trying to make for the hook like this because i'm not get used to this i always do like this but some other people who do the crochet they do it like this but it's difficult for me but i can manage see and then row one oh yeah like that can you see 
yeah that's the thing that i like with this set of hook mm, i can use it if i want to charge it i can just turn it off I can use the normal one if I want to, if it need to be charged. There's alternate. So I'm so happy with this set. I bought this on Amazon last night and I'm gonna put the link of this product in the description. So you must check it. I bought this for 34 euro and 70 cents. Yes, it was on sale. The normal price is 40 something. See, the design is like a thermometer. That's it guys. So I'm really happy to share it with you. And I hope you like this video. Please comment down below what can you say about this product. For me, I will rate this as 9. Why 9? Because the packaging is good. The tools are good. The set of books are really good with the light. But the problem is I thought I can do it automatic. When I do this, it will count automatic that you need to press it. They say in manual that it's 15 minutes of charging. But I charge it at 6 o'clock. And then it became fully charged at 6.30. So it's like 30 minutes. But it's okay. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you next time here on my blog. And... Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.